Hey guys, really sorry, I don't have a co-driver today, so I'm out here solo, but we are at Hollyoaks ORV Park in uh, near Detroit, Michigan, and I'm out here with some friends. I'm in the TRX, got some Jeep buddies, and this is uh, my buddy Pat. He is uh, the Off-Road Warrior Graham on Instagram, and like I said, I don't have anyone filming for me, so I'm kind of doing stuff in the truck. We've been out beating up the truck a little. You can see it's a little muddy. I'm um, going around the track, etc. We're about to do this hill climb for you all, but... Um, Unfortunately, I won't have any outside footage. I apologize for that. But uh, tomorrow, I should have some better stuff when I go on my pre-run. So, we're just out here filming, actually, for the DNR. Sorry, got to concentrate. All right, looks like it's clear, so I'm going to keep going. I know you can just see nothing but sky in the video. And that's what I see, too, actually. But, doing my best to film and go at the same time. So the DNR is trying to make a promotional video for the park and they asked us to come out since I am here 24 seven and I'm in the volunteer group with the park. I cannot see over me and I do not have, since I have only the level one truck, I don't have the front facing camera. So I just gotta cross my fingers and hope there's no one on the other side. I'm coming down right now. But this is the track right over here that I've been around a few times, a few laps just now. People got footage, I did not. Um, I'll try to get the videos from them and post them. But uh, the truck did great, I got some air quite a few times. Um, another guy who's out here is uh, Adam. Uh, he's Adam Affluence on Instagram. Uh, he's out here as well in a, a wrapped, like a tan colored TRX. So there's three Rexes out here right now, it's really cool. Let's see where everyone wants to go. So, yeah, I'll just try to get some footage here and there and splice it all together and uh, make a video for everyone just so you can see what the TRXs do off-road. So see, he's, um, Pat's also gotten his pretty dirty. It's it's mostly stock. He's done a few um, appearance mods, but mostly it's stock. And this right here is Dean and his old, uh, I think they call him flat fender Jeeps. So he's he's a beast. This thing's like very in very good condition, but he still off-roads it every week out here. He's also one of the volunteers in the group. All right, I'm gonna try to do that next. No, I'm just kidding. I would get high centered in two seconds. So I'll keep trying to get video. Oh, so if you guys heard that, that's when I'm at, see if I'm in full lock right like this. You can hear it rubbing. I get a lot of rubbing on the truck. So that's, that's with the 37s and the offset wheels. All right, guys, I just got done uh, hitting some obstacles back here, went up the big hill over there, got stuck halfway up because traction control kicked off. But uh, anyway, we're down here now, truck's pretty nasty. I'm parked over here with my buddies. That's Pat's truck, and then Matt is in the diesel Gladiator on, I think the 37s actually. Yeah, pretty sweet truck. I'll show you around it real quick. This thing is awesome, and it's gonna get um, built up even more soon. And then they also own a 4xe that's getting a lot of crazy suspension. That's what it looks like right now, Bill Stein shocks. It's a pretty cool build. Yep, just out of the park. All right guys, so this right here is a feature called Mount Magna. And that's because it's sponsored by Magna Powertrain, as you can see. Um, I have the truck in rock crawl mode and four low. So you put a neutral, hold down four low, and then you click on rock crawl mode. You make sure your axle's locked. And we're gonna try it out right here, see how it climbs up these steps. Man, I really wish I had a spotter outside to show you guys the outside view. Let me try to get down here. I'm not even touching the gas right now, it's just rolling. You zoom out a bit. There you go. Alright. Doesn't like that. Let's back up a bit. Try with a little more speed.
cleaned up. Not not crazy, nothing nothing uh, crazy high or anything like that, but just for fun. While we're waiting for people to get over here. And you'll hear my wheels rubbing up front on the liners. Well, maybe not. But that's Mount Magna. Um, I obviously went up the easiest part of it. Um, there's like, there's this part right here, which is called the bathtub. Oh, now you can hear my wheels rubbing up front. But um, this is called the bathtub. It fills up with water and it's very steep. I don't know if I have the approach angle to do that, so I'm not even gonna attempt it right now. Um, and then the back side of Mount Magna has a lot of very steep features that are really cool. They're good for Jeeps and crawlers and stuff like that. Uh, stock TRX is probably not gonna make it up by any means. You can see it's a little muddy out here today, so I was sliding, and I'm not aired down. Keep in mind, I'm at 40 PSI on the tires, so just playing around, waiting for people to show up here so I can, uh, the, the photographer from the DNR is on his way up uh, to get some footage of us. So yeah, come on out to Holly Oaks if you ever get the chance to in uh, Holly, Michigan, right north of Detroit. So I just looped around to the backside of Mount Magna and you can see what I was talking about, how aggressive everything is. It's very uh, vertical cliffs and um, some spots where you can place your tires and kind of crawl your way up. I actually helped build this. Um, we had a, the dirt piled up how we wanted it and then put wire down, like a chain link fence almost, all over the whole feature and then they came out and sprayed shotcrete, which is a sprayable concrete for those who aren't familiar. Um, and then parts of it, like over there, you can see it's red. That's actually uh, some coloring that they used that they sprayed down and we're gonna be redoing the whole thing to kind of replicate Moab, Utah was the goal. So, pretty cool. Yeah, there's a very hard feature. I don't know, I don't think I've seen anyone make it up. I'm sure people have, I just haven't been here personally to see it. side of Mount Magna. <laughs> That's our buddy Jacob. <laughs> so it's pretty steep. That's the bathtub feature I was talking about. You saw a Jeep on 37s struggle to make it up when it's slippery. All right, so Jacob here is about to attempt one of these, looks like the red Martian soil over here. In his six liter Jeep. Not bad at all, makes it look easy. And this is Matt and his gladiator coming up. <laughs> this thing's a diesel, like I said earlier. He doesn't want us in the picture, so I'm gonna move. Bouncy Betty. I'm gonna help him spot. Yep, right there. Straight up. Straight up, straight up. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Are you trying to go that way? Oh, up to you. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, this is straight up. Do you want some footage, Brad, of him going up there? Yes. Can you make that switch back? Is 
You're good. You're right at, centered on your diff, so you need to come towards me more. Right. Yeah, you're good to back up more. Okay, stop. Now watch out, he's coming up right here. All right, go slow, his Jeep's right here. You're good, perfect. Sorry for the narration, guys. I'm trying to spot for him while also filming. All right guys, so while we were out here, we met another TRX, a fourth now, I think. We're up to four TRXs. And we don't know this gentleman, but uh, he seems pretty cool. He just came out here with his, uh, <laughs> his black one. It's got some aftermarket wheels on it. Um, and then, <laughs> he's having fun. He just crawled up here. Uh, I don't know if I have video in the horizontal landscape mode, but if I do, I'll post it. Um, I'm just parked here at a very steep angle, trying to get in now. My door keeps trying to close on itself, but I'm going to head down. I think I'm going to get out of here for today, though. Go spray off the truck, get ready for tomorrow, and we'll go from there. I managed to get up in the truck, and so this right here is horizontal, just for your reference. So right now I'm at, it looks like, 20 degrees. We're going to creep forward a little and see if we can get it to you even more severe. There's 21. There's 22. All right, I'm gonna turn down now. There's 24. For a second it had 24. Of course the steering wheel is covering it. But yeah, so uh, I think Raptors can do, if I remember correctly, the Gen 2, I wanna say somewhere in close to 30. Um, so I'd expect the TRX can do about the same. I've just never tested it. The only time I did that in the Raptor was at the uh, Ford Performance Off-Road Driving School called Raptor Assault. Um, they let you do that and they kind of shake on the truck while it's at such a steep angle and you're in it. Try to make you feel like you're about to tip. But uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of that, I'm sure. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to get out of here. Maybe go wash the truck off a little bit. Just get the suspension clean at least. Not the paint necessarily because it's going to get all dirty again tomorrow. But I don't want to be going down the highway at 80 miles an hour with uh, mud caked up in my brakes and suspension parts. All right, guys, so our buddy Dean, classic Dean, his little Willie's flat fender got high centered, and we're pulling him out with this other Jeep. When I say we, I mean someone else, because I'm just sitting here watching. I'll have a seat. There's always that. I should probably go stand on the brake. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. His Jeep's about to roll away. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He's got a really old winch. It's kind of cool. Alright. Get in, get in, get in! <laughs> Alright, that should do it. And fun is done. Hey guys, so... We left the park, I'm pulling into my subdivision now, and I decided not to wash the truck just because uh, if you can see the roads are pretty wet, it was uh, raining a little bit. So I got some good water puddles that I drove through and some splash up from the from the road. I think my suspension's decently clean. I don't wanna spend time right now at nighttime cleaning it when I have to prep for tomorrow. Um, I still need to put my radio back in here, uh, charge up the GoPro, get it ready. I need to do a couple other things here and there, take off the flagpole up on the front of the truck since it's not required on the trails. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that quick off-road video. I know it wasn't anything crazy. We were just um, in the vehicle trying to do stuff, but 
hopefully tomorrow we'll get some better footage. Um, anyway, yeah, if you have any uh, comments or anything, uh, let me know. Thanks, guys. And uh, Jace wanted me to practice saying, catch me off road out or something like that. I'll figure it out. See you guys.